afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I want to thanks to my parents, my family, my friends, and my all gurus actually. Because of them, I am standing in front of you with their all blessings. Uh, I made my debut in IPL at the age of 41, where all the youngsters, like you know, after getting at the age of 35 to 34 to hang up their boots and just uh, go into the coaching or something like that. But I made my debut in IPL, it's the uh, Indian Premier League, the world's best league in the world. I, at the age of 41, then I went and played T10 at the age of 46. Then I play in CPL Caribbean Premier League, which happens in West Indies at the age of 49. So for, for me, if you ask, age is just a number. To be honest, age is just a number, and if you follow your dreams, everything will be there for you. Uh, I want to share this journey actually with you all. Hope all the youngsters, all the corporate level people will inspire from it. This started, this journey actually started at the age of 12. Like every, every, like every kid wanted to play some sports. But I developed this interest in me watching my dad actually. He used to play for his company. I watched him playing, performing. He's a good sports person actually. He played all sports, football, cricket, everything. But I took this sport, cricket, watching him performing well. And the dedication and hard work also I got from my dad itself. When I was a kid, I watched him after coming from office. He used to work for a glass company that time. He, when he come home, my mom used to take out glasses from his leg, from his feet. And he was so much into sports, but for family, he's the only source of income for our family. He has to work hard to look after his family. So all this, like you no know, dedication, everything comes from my family itself. <coughs> as I as I grow, I started to develop this interest in me. But as you all know, I belong from a low middle, middle class family. The source of income was only my dad. So I have not played any school cricket. Why? Because at that time I couldn't. My family, my parents couldn't afford me to get the kit, the shoes, and I thought that's not the end of the world for me. I will keep playing with my friends in Gully. So I started playing my Gully cricket in every street of Mumbai. And I grow. As I grow, I started developing interest more and more, and my passion for this game goes beyond the limit. Because I can't express how much I started loving these sports. But as you know, if you got your mom with you, it not only cricket, you have to study also. That's <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is like, you know, my mom used to always tell me about the education, which really helps me in life going forward. So I started studying also at the same time, I started playing cricket with my friends in all gullies, Nukkar of Mumbai. And as I play, I play, I play. College yeah. The first day of my college was very exciting for me because I have achieved because of my mom. Because I was much into sports, to be honest, honestly. And when I was in college, I was cricket. And I was so passionate. I was very excited also. But hardly I got any kid to go for selection, to be honest. I won't got any kid. But my dad used to play, so he got some shoes. So I said, okay, I want to be a bowler. I used to be a fast bowler. So I need something at least. I can't bowl with the, uh, any, other, any other shoes. So I wear my dad's shoes, which hardly fits me that time. Which really hardly fit me. But I managed to put those shoes and I got selected. I'm telling this because here are so many youngsters I hear. Because with any circumstances, you don't stop trying. 
and I <coughs> used those shoes, used those boots, and I got selected for my college team. That's how this journey begins, actually. When I completed my graduation, belonging from Maharashtra family, a middle class family, my mom was to get a job. And my passion was growing. I know I wanted to play cricket. I wanted to play Ranji Trophy. Because there were so many things was going in my mind. What shall I do? Because I, we haven't got that much money for me to get into the coaching classes. But yes, I started working towards my goal. I started looking for a job in a company which helps, which play cricket as well. I did so many jobs actually before that, so many jobs to get me into that platform. But I remember one thing, the dreams which you are following, and if you keep working on those dreams, I think everything is possible in this world. I got the job in Orient Shipping Company, and I started performing there. Unfortunately, every, every year, there were failures. I couldn't get selected. But I never looked on those things because I can't control those things. I can't control my selection process. I can't control other things which I can't. I just kept focusing on my goals, and that is to play Ranji Trophy and follow my dream. That's what I have done. <coughs> but as, as I say, you know, there are so many hurdles in your life. In 2002, I lost the job of Orient Shipping. Oh God. Before that, before losing the job, I got married because we were being from a Maharashtra family. At the age of 28, you have to get married. And that's the whole big task, you know. And <laughs> one thing about marriage, I think so many, I have seen so many players after marriage, they give up. Give up because there is a family res uh, responsibilities and everything. But in my case, I think I'm lucky to have Vaishali as my wife because she helped in my journey. But the one thing I have to tell you, one thing, she don't know about anything about cricket. That's the plus point for me. <laughs> because at the marriage day, because she asked me, do you smoke? I said, no. Do you drink? I said, no. So what do you do? Well, I play cricket. <laughs> Thank God she don't know the cricket is the, her second wife, actually. She was not knowing that. So that was a plus point for me because I think it's it's very important. Why I'm saying is very important when you grow, when you get married, it's very important to balance your life. And that's what I did. I balanced my life very well. Yeah, so then I lost my job at Orient Shipping and I was down. But one thing I always taught me that never give up. You work hard, everything will everything will fall in place. So I work hard, I got a job in a diamond company on didn't work for one month because they gave me false thing that we are having a cricket team and they don't allow me to go for my matches which I was pursuing my dream to get and play Ranji Trophy. So I left that job, I went to D.Y. Patil where my friend, my godfather I will say, Abhi Kuruvila, he he gave me that job. Because he was knowing, I was over the years, because when I joined Orient Shipping, I always believe in teamwork. I always believe in te teamwork. And I think Orient Shipping were playing in the last division. And in that 10 years, I brought that team. We brought that team in the A division. So I think that the thought of mind, what, which I always carry in me, about a team bonding and everything, that helps me to get place in my DY party team. Because Abhi knows that he is the person, like, you know, he works hard. So I got job in uh, D.Y. Patil in 2004. I think I played over the five, six years for D.Y. Patil, performed well, but always failure. I couldn't get my name in Rajut of Improbables. I work hard all the years getting this team, D.Y. Patil, winning more, so many titles. I never gave up. I never gave up. I still, still uh, kept trying to get into the Ranji Trophy. But in the year 2007, I think IPL happens at D.Y. Patil. And I was working as a licensing manager in that IPL. As I was working as a licensing manager to look after the players' welfare. I used to look, I used to lift ice buckets, 
uh, their baggage. I used to carry their baggage. Who has thought that I am going to play in 2014 for IPL? But I did that. I worked hard. In the year 2013-14, I got a call from my employer saying that, Praveen, you have did well for your team. And we want now you to coach this team. Believe me, this IPL happens because of a reason. They said you are not going to play this tournament, you are going to work as a coach for the team. I was down. I was literally crying. Because over the years, I work hard to get into the Ranji Trophy team. And this one movement will change my all life. I went home. I went to my support system, which is my wife. I cried to her. And she said, don't give a what. Over the years, you have seen so many things. But now you are going to be a coach of a team. That's good for you. But back of my mind, something was going on. I, I believe that one chance. I believe that one opportunity will always come to you. The next day, when I went to this tournament, I was a coach. Unfortunately for the player, one player from my team got injured. I have not said this story anywhere, but that's the fact. One team from my team got injured. And there was no player to replace him. So my employers told me to play this tournament. And I was not knowing. Scouts from Rajasthan Royals came to watch that tournament. And believe me, that one opportunity I always wait in my life. That one opportunity. <coughs> and that opportunity I know I want to grab that opportunity to get into this. Like, you know, this team, Miss DIY Party team. Not, I'm not thinking about IPL or nothing. But I played that tournament. I got the best bowler. We won that tournament. <laughs> and I have been called by Rajasthan Royal to give a trial in Jaipur. And rightly said, if you are willing to do whatever you want to do, if you are passionate about the sports, if you think about the dreams which you are which you are following, and those who are doing these things, I think everything, every everything falls in their place. Because I was fortunate that I got a good mentor, you can say. Rahul Dravid sir was there as a selector. I went to the trials, I gave the trials, it went well, and believe me, he, have, he, has, he is the only person who have not asked about my age. I was 41 that time. And I got selected. I got selected for Rajasthan Royal at the age of 41. I was following my dream of playing Ranji Trophy, but beyond that, I got a chance to play in an IPL. For me, IPL was not my goal. My goal is to play good cricket, to get into the Ranji Trophy team, and fulfill my dream. <coughs> Over the years, I have never thought about anything negative about anyone. So I think those positive thoughts have helped me to get me into this team, Rajasthan Royals. And I was lucky to have Rahul Dravid sir as their coach and selector and captain. So that's what I want to tell you all young, young friends over here, Dad. Never ever give up on your dreams. There are so many hurdles, there are so many negative people, but don't think about those things which you can't control. The only thing in your hand is to go and express yourself, perform in any field. I'm not talking about only sports, but in any field. If you have that willingness, if you have that jit, which you jit that jit, you can so, I can say that the IPL has made my life change. It has changed my life. I got hat trick. I, I won that match. And the dream which I was following from my younger age, I overcome all the odds. I overcome all the negative people. I overcome all the thinking process of the selectors that a 41 year can't play in Ranji Trophy. After playing IPL, the, my ultimate goal was to play Ranji Trophy. I got picked from Mumbai Ranji team. And I played at the age of 42, Mumbai Ranji. And that was my ultimate goal. So my only message to all you youngsters, never give up on your dreams. And never think about your age. 
for me, age is just a number. Thank you very much.